Hello everybody, welcome to Allies at War. This was our campaign with a game called Panzer Corps. We were trying to take the Allied forces all the way from North Africa in 1941, fighting against the Germans and the Italians, eventually leading them, hopefully, if we're successful, all the way to Germany and the end of the war. Now, I haven't played the game for about six months, but I've been wanting to come back to this series forever. When we last left, we had just defeated Rommel's forces around Tobruk in North Africa in early 1942. It's now May 1942 in the game. We're going up against Rommel's forces once again today in a scenario called the Cauldron. We'll talk about some of the details as we get forward, but one of the things that we're squaring off against for the first time are these 88 guns, which you see right behind me, the infamous Japanese, uh, Japanese infinite German flat guns used in a devastating anti-tank fashion as well. We've got some of those to face. It looks like a tough scenario. Compounding the problem is that I have not played the game in over six months, so we might be a little bit sloppy and rusty. Let's see how things go as we get stuck back in. Hello everybody, welcome back. I am so excited to dig back into this series because I was really enjoying playing this game and then things just got busy with life and doing other series but I have kept it on my list of things to do and I finally think I have time to come back in and re-engage with this. So I am excited and this I think actually is a pretty good scenario to jump back in because I was looking at the Allied campaign tree and basically the game, if you're not familiar with it, you play a series of campaigns and if you lose, sometimes the game ends and if you win, you get more prestige points and lose and, and you kind of little bit of forks in the place where you have alternate scenarios depending upon what happens but this one no matter what happens we get 3,000 prestige points and we continue to the next scenario which is called L L L M A N. so I feel like this is actually a pretty good one to come back in on because no matter what happens unless we our forces get devastated we should be okay but let's dig in and talk a little bit about what's going on with the scenario now you can see on the east side here let's zoom in a little bit my forces are here our forces, the Allied forces, are here on the east side. And these are our core forces, the ones that we carry over from campaign to campaign. We have up in the north here, Goose's Recon is sitting right there. Several of our forces, too, will have people, have viewers who have chosen to lead those forces in battle. So if you're picking up this series and you want to grab leadership of a unit, just post down in the comments and say what you'd like. I think we've still got one armored unit available, a couple of air units, and a lot of infantry units still up for grabs. Here we have Flaky 7th Armor in the middle. JJ's second armor, Parkera's first armor, and this will be kind of the main force uh, that we'll be using to kind of lead our forces in the scenario. We've also got our air forces behind it and some artillery sitting behind that. Now, the battle as it stands is we have this on the west side, we have other allied forces. We can see the British 150th Brigade is in this little cauldron surrounded by minefields. And my understanding of what's going to happen is that the Germans are trying to break through here and wipe out the 150th Brigade so they can resupply their forces that have been cut off in the middle of the battlefield. So we have Germans between us and the east here and then the 150th Brigade to the west. Heavy forces are going to hit this way. We have to punch through here as quickly as we can. And we have two victory conditions if we look at this. A triumph we have to do two things to get the triumph victory, which is the kind of the ultimate victory and our ultimate goal. We have to destroy all the 88s in the blocking screen. And the 88s basically are those anti-aircraft, anti-tank units. So somewhere in this blocking screen, which is these units in between our forces in the east and the 150th Brigade that we have to relieve, are all these German, there's going to be some 88s in there. We have to wipe those out. Now, how many, I don't know how many there are and I don't know where they are, so I guess we're gonna find that out as we go forward. We definitely don't wanna find that out with our armor though, because that will destroy them if I'm not mistaken. I mean, the, the, those were famous for being brutal against tanks. So we don't want our armor to, we don't want our armor to find those. Hopefully our infantry can dig into those. The second part, to get a triumphant victory, not only do we have to destroy the 88s, but we have to have at least three of this 150th Brigade units survive in this little area called B up in here. So my guess is we can't waste any time in punching through what's in the middle here to get to them. So I think also in this scenario, the Germans go first. They are on the offensive. So let's start this out. I, my, our basic plan, I think, is to hit as fast and as hard we, as we can into the center area of here, 
try to get through and push through so we can keep these troops alive. I think it's a 16 turn scenario, so we'll probably get through the first two or three turns in this in this battle right now. Let us get started. Now, I have to confess to, okay, here we go. Okay, so there, that must be an 88 there. I don't know if it is. We lost track of it, we can't see it. We've got German units now trying to come through. Here comes the air units that's bombing the minefields where the 150th Brigade is. Here comes some German armor forward up. Our artillery protects ourselves. Nice. And did some damage on that armor. That's good. Nice. Okay, there's this one, two, three, four, five, six. A pretty heavy German armored brigade coming at us. Yeah, armored forces in the east here. And they wiped out those British forces in that little town up here in the northwest. A lot of activity. We've got a German attack on what is a British held city down here. This is Bur el Harmat. Lots of Germans everywhere. Goodness gracious, this has just erupted in me. Now, those British forces are wiped out. Ugh, brave lads. The Germans have captured that. And they're trying to punch through our minefields up here. That gets reduced to one. Oh, those are engineers. They wiped out the minefield. So they're coming through. Goodness gracious, there's a lot of them. They wiped out those minefields. Mm. Okay. Our turn here. So... And we've lost track of a lot of the Germans. I would like to grab that city, but I feel like we need to leave stuff down in here. So this is may, may very well be hopeless. I think our answer really has to be to punch through this as fast as we can. Now, I have forgotten, honestly, I've forgotten a lot how to play. So I'm going to take a second here and think about our moves, and then we're going to jump back in. I even forget basically how to attack. I'm sure it's going to come back, but I, I'm, I'm also very much a beginner at the game. I mean, I think by the end of the 10th scenario, I was starting to get some of the concepts. So um, you may need to remind me of some of the things that I've forgotten how to do here. But we'll give it a go, you know? Okay, I'm going to think for a second, then we'll jump back in. Okay, I think I have a rough plan for us, which is going to be to... We've got some certain things we know we want to do. For example... This is an anti-aircraft unit, and that's a German plane. So we want to attack that plane with the anti-air unit. That seems to be the most logical thing to do, since we can't really do anything else with it. But my general thinking is that the German armor hit us here on the south part of this battlefield. We have a pretty open spot here to the northwest, so I think we might be able to sneak Goose and his recon down here. And maybe, if we get lucky, we might be able to break off Flaky 7th armor and have them slide up here, and maybe we can make a little bit of an end run to get some reinforcements into this cauldron pretty quickly. So that's a rough idea. And then, of course, down here, we want to use the bulk of our forces to just devastate these five armored division units that have kind of slammed into us from the, from the west here. So let's dig in and get started. First up, let's have this anti-aircraft unit. Let's see if we can do damage to that plane. Minus four. Nice. So that reduces that. We can move one, but let's just stay where we are for now. Could we still move? Yeah, we can. Okay, so we can click away and move something else. That, if we toggle now to the air, that's reduced that to a seven. And this looks like a tactical bomber. That's what, oh, it reduced our artillery. I got, so we didn't see that attack. So we might need to resupply that artillery. Let us do, also we can move this, which is another anti-aircraft unit. This is a, a Crusader anti-aircraft. Let us bring him down... Let's just slide up here with him and have him fire at the air unit as well. Minus four, excellent. So that has put a pretty big hurt on this air unit here. And with that, it's only down to three now. Let's send Custard over here, right here to try to finish him off and Custard can pick up another kill, I think. Minus three, good, and zero good no damage to custard we've eliminated the first japanese air cover which is good so we definitely also want to work towards air superiority right that leaves us two air units to do more with can it reach or it cannot reach i saw another german air unit over there let's take care of this easy unit move that we back up over here this is also an anti-aircraft unit it's a bofors unit can hit these fighters looks like junkers these are dive bombers as well they hit the minefield Let's fire and do some damage. Minus three. We'll take it. So we've chipped away a little bit at the German Air Force, at least in terms of their participation in the battle. Now let's think a little bit about how we want to do this. This is an extremely strong German armored unit. Twelve force here. This is down to seven, both of which got hit pretty hard in their attacks. We also have some artillery here that we can bring to bear on this. I would like to see if we can knock this twelve out. 
I'd also like to see if we can hit this softer art art Italian artillery on the side here. So let's start pounding away. Let's fire our 16th artillery. Only minus one there, but it might weaken it a little bit too. Let's pound that, minus one. Okay, we'll take that. Let's fire the next one here. It's yellow, minus one. So we've got it and it turned red, which means it's considerably weakened. Let's send the 17th armor after this and see if we can get some damage. Then minus two. Darn it, we pushed it back. Okay, we do not want to advance with that unit then. Let's see if we can bring in, oh, six to one. That's a pretty strong attack right there. Let's, Parker is first. Can he punch a, oh, minus eight. I feel like we can fire this artillery here too. We can, and then JJ's second armor could hit that. And then maybe break away. So, yeah, I think um, I'd like to get both of these. I'm getting greedy, though, huh? How about this? Oh, we don't want that one. But if he went up there, three to two. Mm, interesting choices here. I'd like to get this northern edge of the armor here. Let us... Oh, we have, our arm, we have air up here, too. Minus five, minus six on that one. That would put a pretty big dent on it. Five to one, seven to zero. Let's send our tactical bomber right here to see if we can do some massive damage on this. Minus three. God, that's not what we were hoping for. That's disappointing. Okay. But, and that's already attacked. What if he went down there now? Three to two. That's still not very good. Hmm. Okay, let's send our last fighter. I'm kind of curious what's up here, but let's send our last fighter down on this armored unit here. See if we can do a little bit of damage. Minus one, we'll take it. Now let's see if Parker is first, the bloody first, can finish this off. Four, crap. No damage, but okay, that's good. We definitely don't want to leave these units surviving here, but I'm not sure what else we've got. That one can only move one. Oh, crud. We're leaving them alive, aren't we? Okay, let's do five to one here, because they'll all resupply and slow us down, won't they? Oh, gosh. Don't... Oh, right here. Maybe we can get lucky and finish this unit off here. Ten. Oh, flaky. Putting the hurt on right away. Now we can break this armored unit forward, but let's send our recon and our infantry out there first. This makes this one interesting now. We could bring him around the back, hit that artillery nine, and finish this one off, which might be nice. That's tempting. Has he fired yet? Oh, he has not fired yet. This armor has not, this um, artillery has not fired yet. So let's bring them to bear, pounding away. Good, minus two, that helps. And I think that makes this easy because if we get lucky, JJ's second armor might wipe out this Italian armor. Let's hope we get lucky. Minus seven, nice. Okay, this gives us some interesting options. We've put a serious dent in the, the Axis attack here for sure. We can break forward this way, but we know there's 88s in there, so we want to be careful. I'm tempted to bring Goose's Recon right here to see what we can see. Oh boy. Minus nine to zero. Um, <laughs> that's our first 88 right there. Oh, there's four of these buggers here with artillery behind it. Good Lord, and we cannot send our aircraft near there for sure. And it's geared, I think these can be geared if they're pointing up, they're probably geared against aircraft. If they're pointing down, they're geared against artillery and armor. So we do. We want no part of this. Let's pull back with that. Let's send our infantry forward here. So, so much for that end run. We're not gonna get around that without punching through it here. I have no idea the best way to approach this. But let's send these engineers forward. What do we got here? We can send them on the Bren carriers. Uh, I hesitate to send them too far forward because they could get punished. If we send our artillery, our armor up there, it's going to get demolished. Hmm. I, I'm tempted to see what's down here and see if we can isolate this armor. Because if we have units next to it, it cannot reinforce. I wonder what the range is on that. Probably one with anti-tank for sure. So let's send Flaky down here to see if we can pin. Let's go down in here. 
Ah, okay, so we got that far. Let's send JJ's second armor next to this artillery armored unit to pin it, because that way it can't reinforce as well. We do have some infantry here. Let's send these paratroopers. We're going to have to retake that city for sure. Let's get these guys moving as well. One to two. We do not want to do that yet, though. The recon unit is stuck. Hmm. Oh, okay. We can bring him up. And we can bring forward here. So we kind of effectively pinch that, but we can move these guys. Now, I forgot now, if I move the artillery behind our troops, do they effectively defend if they've been in trucks? I guess we'll test that now. I've kind of forgotten what happens there. Let's move our artillery there, move this artillery here, and we'll see what happens there. Um, Anti-air unit, we should move it forward. One, nothing to do here. We did have those paratroopers. I could have put them up there in that airfield. That would have been clever as clever can be. Let's move our artillery forward one. I don't think we're going to see anything come forward now. It doesn't look like there's anything really to attack us. He's moved. He's done his thing. Everybody here has done their thing here, I believe. Didn't we have an artillery unit that was damaged? Or was that the... I thought we had one that was knocked down to seven, but apparently I'm mistaken there. Okay, so I don't think there's anything else we can do. I think everything here has moved and attacked. And we have completely devastated the Italian armor, as is seems to be the case in this game. Now, up here, I don't think we really want to do anything. I don't think we want to move these units because they're all entrenched, which would be weakening our defensive position. So I think the basic goal is to just kind of say prayers for the units over here, the 150th British Brigade there, and then just see what we can do to get there as quickly as possible. I have no idea how to attack these 88s, but we'll have to let it go here. I think that's the end of our turn. I'm trying to think if there's anything else we want to do. Oh, this recon unit can move. It could effectively pinch behind that, but two to four. That's a bummer. That that was a wasted turn for that, that recon unit. We're going to leave it there because I don't want to put the um, artillery vulnerable behind it. So with that being said, let's end our turn here and go to game turn two and see what happens. Some units have moved yet. Not moved yet. Yes, we want to do that. Let's see what they do. Artillery fired at... Oh, these arm, these, uh, they're firing at the minefields behind them. So they're trapped behind the minefields. Oh, that unit has a range of three. The trucks got ambushed by our minefield. Good, we'll take that. More anti-air units coming, more aircraft coming in. Damn it. Okay, they're bombing our minefields, but hopefully we can pick some of those units off. That's not bad. Minus two to minus one. We weakened his armor. This armor's pushing forward. Weakening our minefields. I have no idea what the Germans are doing. They've abandoned that town and run square into the minefield. <laughs> Not the brightest motorcycle corps. There comes an attack here. Well, they attack the minefield, and they're almost out of ammunition. This is attacking the minefield, trying to open it up, basically, aren't they? They really like to attack the mines here. These must be engineers. I would love to get them. They've taken that city. These are engineers just destroying our minefields really quickly. Regular infantry. Oh my goodness, they're just tearing it apart. Okay, here we go, round two. So, the German attack has basically taken a pretty serious chunk out of the defensive minefields around this cauldron, the 158th. This unit here has been weakened. We have more aircraft here. One of those aircraft units we know snuck over here. What is the range on these things here? How do I see that? There was a way to see that up here. Heart attack, air attack is the third one down. It's a seven. What is this the range? Naval attack, ground defense, air defense, target type, initiative range. There we go. Range of three. Okay. Hence, that's why it was pounding these things here. And when it's, this has a range of zero. It's just a, an adjacent one when it's like that. So these units can either be anti-air or anti-tank. That one in the middle is set up to be anti-air. And we know there was a German aircraft unit behind them somewhere. So we'll think for a second here and figure out how we're going to kind of approach this turn. God, these 88s look tough, though. Hmm. Okay, we'll be back in a sec here. Okay, so I have a rough plan. And let's take a look at the 150th here. We have some easy decisions, first of all, is that we've got this anti-air unit that's got plenty of ammo left. And we can hit this aircraft that 
has been attacking the city. So we'll start by hitting that, minus two, good. A little more damage to, Jap to German air, for sure. And then we have this infantry here that's not gonna move, and we can resupply that. We could spend 27 prestige to get elite troops. Let's do that, just to give it a little bit more of a fighting hope here. And this one we cannot resupply, but we have also this armor, this artillery here that can pound some units here. Let's have it hit these, this German uh, pioneer unit, this, which are the engineers here, minus one. Good, so we've done a little bit of damage to the forces attacking. We're gonna leave everything where it is. And uh, that's good there for now. If we come over here, I think the rough plan is gonna be to try to wipe out this German armor down here in this turn with our tanks. And in the meantime, I don't want to hit this with that. I want our infantry up here first. So I think I'm going to try to move our infantry in a line in front of these 88s and then bring our artillery in behind it and try to see if we can pound away with the artillery on these 88s and weaken them a little bit. I'm not quite sure of the best way to do this. And I'm a little concerned that we don't know what we're doing. I think, though, even this one right now, like if we look, it says they will lose three and we will lose two. But I'm pretty sure the artillery behind it is going to mess that up. But let's let's see what happens here as we move next door. Minus three to minus two. We'll think on that. Yeah, because now we know. Yeah, now it says we'll lose three and they'll lose one because they have units behind it here. Let's pull this engineer unit down here. So we'll swing there. Minus four to minus two. That's not bad. There's nothing behind it, I don't think. Now, if we check, minus two to minus three. Yeah, we would pay a price there. This might just be a little bit expensive for us to hit it here. But minus zero, and we would lose four. So we want no part of this attack here. Let's now see if we can bring in some of our artillery. Oh, wait, we can fire first, I think, right? Can we reach that? No, we can't fire there. Let's bring our artillery in behind this. And I'm not sure if this is the right way to do this. Let's, this does not have very much effect against this armor, but it might weaken it a little bit. Let's try it right there. Nothing. Weaken it? Yeah, it did. It weakened it a little bit. Let's bring this, our artillery in behind this infantry here. And I, I, I don't know what I'm doing, so we'll figure this out though as we go. Now we have some more armor here. Some artillery here. We have three air units and we have three German armored units. Let's see what we can do. Let's send our tactical bomber, which seems to have a lot of power here. Let's see. According to this, if we attack this art this armor, we might be able to wipe it out with our tactical bomber. Let's try that. Minus five. Got it. Good. And suffered no casualties. Perfect. This tactical bomber is up for grabs if anyone would like to be the leader. By the way, it has been kicking butt. Now, let's take this artillery and pound these Panzer 3Hs down here. Bang, minus one, good, that gets it started. And now I think we can take our 17th armor and try to hit this even harder. Minus two, that's not very good. Hmm. Oh wait, we have aircraft that's not gonna do anything else. So let's get Custard busy here. Let's see if Custard, it says he can wipe out this German armor. Let's try it. Come on, Custard. Minus one, fail. Ah, but he's still got a kill. He's done well. Let's send our last fighter over here to see if we can weaken this one. Okay, minus two, good. So we've pounded that armor down a little bit. Now maybe this one can get a kill if we're lucky. Minus two. Minus three, excellent, good. A kill for our 17th armor, and it can move on. Let us do Parker is first, should finish off this armor. Probably could have saved that to attack someplace else. But, okay, that's good. Now, we can move forward here with our paratroopers. They have no vehicles? Oh, there's stuff down here, interesting, okay. So... But these German units are weak. We can send, we've got some art, art, armor that can still move. So let's send these guys down here a little bit. Now we've got Flaky 7th could come here and just put a heavy hit on this ar artillery right here. And this infantry could take a hit too. Let's do that. We also have the recon here that can help out. Let's start with that. So Flaky, come on down here and see if you can take out this artillery. Minus nine, he only leaves one. Excellent work. Wish we had, wish we could finish it off here. Let's send JJ's second armor down here and see if we can hit this infantry and pin them. Oh, oh, that's bad. Wait, it says five to one. 
Really? What if I click away and try it again? Interesting. Do we send JJ into the 88 screen? That's not an 88 behind it, is it? It's giving us good odds. I feel like Goose is in my ear saying, don't do it. But sorry, Goose, I gotta see what happens. Artillery, no damage. Minus five. Minus two. Okay. That's progress, I think, for that. Now, we have this, our recon here, which can push forward. I would like to see if we can wipe out that artillery. But do we have anything else that could do that? They have already moved. Let's take that city with this. Good. That gives us the city back. They have already attacked. Let's park them here. Let's get Parkera's first armor. They've moved. Let's move up our anti-aircraft in here behind them. Because we're going to see air information. And then let's move this anti-aircraft behind these guys. We've got Goose that can still move quite a ways. I'm not sure how to make him useful. Let's go down here. We definitely don't want to go up there. That would be devastating. We want to keep him away from the 88s. Let's go there, for lack of a better plan. And I think he can switch to something, right? He can't, because he already moved. What if we click away? Does he have a second move? I forget how that works. Oh, well, we'll figure that out as we go forward. We have this recon unit down here. The question is, do we want to hit that infantry unit or wipe out the, uh, the artillery? Let's... I don't think that artillery is going to... Well, it's going to support it. Let's just hit the artillery and finish it off. Let's get that kill. Okay, and we have one last artillery unit that has not moved. And it can get up to... Here. I think we've moved everybody. We have wiped out the German armor. We've done our first damage to the 88s. There it looks like there's five of them here in this screen. That was pretty effective, though. I will take a couple of armor loss points to reduce an 88 by half. I'm not quite sure why that happened, except that maybe these um, Churchill Mark IIs are really strong. So maybe JJ's tanks are strong. That, I think, brings us to the end of turn two, then. Let's finish this and see what the Germans do. I don't think we have anybody left that can move, right? You can attack there, but we want no part of that. We would just get mauled. That can't attack. I think they've everything's attacked and done its stuff, huh? Okay, let's uh, finish up. Let's see the German response. Some units have not moved yet. We know that, yep. Okay, so that armor fired. Firing at the minefields. The Germans love to attack the minefields. Okay, hit our artillery for minus two. Okay, we can kind of expect here comes more air taking on our anti-tank units. Here comes air and our... Oh, that was nice. Went after artillery, but our anti-aircraft took it on. I'd love to get our air units over helping out to, to wipe out this air unit here. Uh-oh, we got more Italian armor down here. What's it doing? Attacking the minefields. <laughs> okay. They are obsessed. It's OCD with the minefields, aren't they? More German armor in behind us. We have to be careful here. More Germans to attack. I guess they're just maybe running into the minefields. This infantry attack, minus five... And it hit our recon, minus two, okay. This infantry attack behind it. So that the artillery does not support on the turn it moves. It will next turn. These engineers being very pesky. Oh, it's attacking our artillery. But they should be out of ammo. So we might be able to make them hurt next turn. Attacking the minefields. We've got to get there pretty fast though, right? Otherwise we're just gonna get a regular victory though. I, I'm not sure it's worth sacrificing a ton of troops to save the 150th Brigade. Sorry guys, you might be on your own. I hate to say it. I feel like that's not really the hero's path though. Oh God, the Germans are everywhere up here. What is that? Our, our Italian artillery hitting that minefield. Well, we are about, I imagine, about a half an hour into this. We're gonna stop here at the end of the German turn three. We will pick things back up in our next episode. We've made pretty good progress. We've knocked that initial German armored assault back. We have suffered some casualties, but we have inflicted some damage on the 88s. I mean, they resupplied that one to eight there, which kind of made sense. But I feel like we've done okay so far. Time is on our side, right? Because it's we've only got three turns out of 16. So if we can wipe out these 588s, 
we get a victory, which I would take at this point, although I hate to see our 150th brigade get wiped out to the last man. That would be, that'd be sad. So I feel like we should really try to get up there and save them. But anyway, we will be back in our next episode in part B of episode 11. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new and want to see more, we've got other series going on. Please consider subscribing. We'll see you again in turn three of The Cauldron. Thanks for watching, everybody.